Good evening, Confederate Socialist. How the fuck are ya? Um, I'm gonna do this video response to you against my better judgment, um, because I'm incredibly tired and I gotta do my questions thing next, so I'll do this first, get this out of the way. Um, the first thing, the first comment you made, and I kind of wanted to address this anyway, so I'll take this opportunity, was that you understand the frustration of, of arguing with a statist if you have our sort of viewpoint of the state, right? Um, yeah, yeah, it's incredibly fucking frustrating. Um, the reason I say this is because a lot of really intelligent people make these ridiculous arguments that uh, I'm just, I can't be bothered to put up with, to be honest. I mean, look at the video you did to uh, Virtual Holocaust. Um, ten and a half minutes, I think. It was a really good video, the video I commented on, and look at the response you got. I mean, yeah, I fuck that. <laughs> I have no interest in having... Uh, or going out of my way to have a conversation with someone who would watch the video, the kind of video that you did, and then basically repeat the same shit they did in the video before that, and then just say, yeah, you said some shit, yada, 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 you said some more shit, and you're still a greedy fuck. But not only are you a greedy fuck, you're trying to disguise it every time you make this argument against force. This argument against the state is just, it's, it's all about coercion, force, blah, blah, blah. It's just your rhetoric. It's, you know, it's a subterfuge. You're just trying to uh, disguise your fucking greed and apathy. Yeah, I can't be bothered to really take part in that conversation anymore on YouTube. And this is fun for me in a lot of ways, Confederate Socialist. It, it, it is a lot of fun for me. I come here to sort of vent and have a good time at, you know, simultaneously and that's the deal so I really don't come here to get a fucking headache getting video responses like the one you got so anyhow I think you made some pretty good um, assumptions about what exactly it is that I do on YouTube to be honest you hit the fucking nail on the head um, I, I think the most important question you asked me was about what do I think of uh, I think it was what do I think of the importance of religion in relation to the state. Um, I think it's fucking vital, and I might get into a little bit of trouble for saying what I'm about to say here, but I think statism is a fucking religion. Um, and here's my perspective on that, or here, here's my take. When I see your everyday, run-of-the-mill statist, right, it, it, they're almost so... Um, they, they don't think about it in, in the same way that we do. They don't think about the state like I would. So it, it's hard to even look at them and say statist. You know, in, in the same way that um, when you see your average, everyday, run-of-the-mill person that dubs themselves a Christian, it, it's almost funny if you spend a lot of time arguing with fundamentalists and evangelicals. It's almost impossible to point at these moderates and call them Christians, because when you think Christian, after so much time spent with the radical Christians, that's how you think of, of a Christian. You don't think of the moderates, so it becomes kind of difficult to label them Christians. <laughs> However, when I see one of these typical everyday run-of-the-mill, I don't go to church, except for on the big holidays, I don't really study scripture, but I, I'll pick it up and read a verse every once in a while. Um... I see a potential religious fanatic in the same way that when I see your average everyday run-of-the-mill statist I see a potential patriot and there are a few things in this world that fucking sicken me more than patriotism it, it, it's it, there's nothing more you know, there are things more disgusting but patriotism is just state worship that's all the fuck it is, these guys that get teary-eyed when they see a flag being waved on television in slow motion and they hear the national anthem played and, and they tear up. That's fucking religious, uh, if you ask me. So, yeah, the importance of religion to the state, it's not so much important, it's, it's fucking vital. Now, your other question was, uh, and I think that I've pretty much answered it, 
but we'll see. Maybe not. Um, do you believe that private institutional exploitation is possible? Do you believe that firms can discriminate based on non-economic factors in a free market? For the first question, do you believe in private institutional exploitation? Um, yeah, sure. As long as the right ideas are in place, as long as people um, have a reason to be exploited and turn the other fucking cheek. And I think um, that any sort of ideology similar to religion, like patriotism, yeah, sure. As long as that sort of shifts around. But in a truly free market, eh, maybe not so much. I think it'd be a little bit more difficult to pull off. And that's pretty much the same answer to your other question. Um, do I believe that firms could discriminate based on non-economic factors in a free market? Ye maybe. Of course, they could opt to do so, but not for long. In a truly free market, not for long. Uh, I don't think it's as feasible. As, it's not even as, not even close to being as possible as it is now. Now, one thing I wanted to say. Um, oh yes, regarding the uh, video shoutouts to Liberty is not given and Napalm Tube. You've pretty much got me fucking pegged right there too. I, I do lean towards or more towards liberty is not given the way of thinking. Uh, I rarely ever fucking disagree with the guy, to be honest, and he's probably the one guy on YouTube that I can I, I have a hard time remembering a single instance where I watched one of his videos and said, hey, that's not quite right. So yeah, you, you got me there. Uh, but the napalm, the napalm tube thing, and you're right, they are, the two guys, they're different in a lot of ways. The the very reason, to be honest, that I, I did the shout out for Napalm Tube and, and that I enjoy his channel, um, he made one of my favorite fucking videos of all time on YouTube. And it's just a preference, but I, I love the video, and that was his video, Rage Against the Obama, because it, it sort of touches on what we're talking about right now, or more so what I'm talking about right now. Um, because he refers to you know, all of the devotion or admiration that people had during the election and some still have now after the election for Barack Obama as being a quote-unquote cult of personality. And I think he hit the fucking nail on the head. You know, and um, I saw the same thing in Obama, you know, that people just had such admiration for this guy. And I couldn't fucking stand it, to be honest, because it's state worship. Yeah, it's the same thing. It's kind of like what you were talking about in your video um, about the Pharaoh, you know. But yeah, that, that's pretty much my reply as far as the crazy like a fox thing. Not quite. Um, do I? Was it my intention to sort of hey everybody look this way? Look look at the anarchist community a little bit. In that video, yes. Overall, no. It's not like an intricate plot to. Um, gradually morph your common atheist on YouTube into a into an anarchist of any kind. But yeah, there you have it. Have a good night. Peace.